In today's video, we're taking a look at how to clean and season your cast iron skillet or pan. Easy and simple. This is so easy, anyone could do it. Everything that we use on the video, we're gonna leave a link on the description. We're gonna show how to clean your cast iron two ways. And at the end, we're gonna season it. So no matter how your cast iron looks, from just dirty or rusted, with this techniques, you can get the job done. In our first way, we're gonna show everyday cleaning. Or when you just have minor rust, little stuck on food, or you just finished cooking a meal. And the easy way to clean your cast iron is using salt. The bigger the grains, the better. So kosher salt will work best. So basically what you want to do is use a scrubbing pad and scrub the salt all around your skillet. This is basically going to get every little pore on the cast iron and every nook and cranny. It's going to help your sponge just go from a regular sponge to an ultra spa scrub action exfoliating million dollar treatment. But instead of your body, the only one having fun today is your cast iron. You want to make sure that you get the back, the front, the sides, and any little space of your pan and skillet, including the handle. Now we want to remove the salt and we want to use warm or hot water, depending on your hand's tolerance. If you have the Michael Myers jeans, we know you could crank that heat up. But let's say you have a lot of rust on your pan or skillet, then you can go to your favorite dollar store or convenience store and get a Brillo pad. And the good thing about the Brillo pad is that it already comes with its included detergent. And because of the fine fibers of the Brillo pad, it's like sanding your pots, pans, and skillet. So that would help us remove any rust, food, stock on grime, or anything that comes our way. And the best times to do this cleaning is meanwhile your pan skillet, it's a little bit warm, but manageable. Because that means it would be easier to remove the stuck on food than if it was cold. We can use a rag, towel, or paper to dry it off. Now, no matter what step you took, either the salt way or the Brillo way, we go to the best and easy part of the spa, and it's taking your cast iron to the sauna or the stove. We want to go ahead and heat up the pan or skillet until we remove every moisture or water on it. We go ahead and let it cool off. Meanwhile, we can go ahead and set some aluminum foil on one of the racks of our oven. We take our pan or skillet to our workstation and using paper towel, a rag, or a towel, we are going to start seasoning our cast iron. And for that, we're going to use oil. You can use vegetable oil, melted shortening, canola oil, a seasoning spray, any high point burning oil except olive oil, and preferably a neutral base oil. Because the last thing you want is your cast iron to smell like fish oil. But if you love that smell, don't worry. We always put a drop of that on our tomato sauce. Now that we placed oil all over the pan or skillet, we need to dry it off. And you want to remove as much oil as you can. Because the cast iron having a lot of pores takes on a lot of oil. And you might not see it now, but on the heating process, if you have any extra oil, you'll see that the pan or skillet become runny or even sticky. Now that we dried our cast iron, we can go ahead and place the oven at 500 degrees and place our pan or skillet upside down on top of the aluminum. And we want to leave this bad boy or bad girl or none or both. You know we love you at the Stata Box team. On the sauna, I mean on the oven for about one hour. And a pro tip, once removing the skillet or pan from the oven, it's going to be hot. So unless you're onto fire tattoos, remember that safety is the number one thing. And now you've become a cast iron sensei. Show the world how you can control the metals. Don't forget, if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. That really helps. If you have any questions, place them in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe. Follow us on social media. Thank you for watching. And here's a link to our latest video.